More weather now. Here is Katie. Yeah, so tonight our biggest issue, we could see a downpour or two. But really? it's such a small chance, honestly. That fog was... That was dense this morning. It was, and that's what I want to focus uh -huh. on, honestly. Our biggest issue, because of the rain, because of clearing skies, light winds, you see a theme here. Almost every single line here has the word fog in it. It is certainly a possibility overnight. And this is true mostly for our eastern communities, but no matter where you live, we're going to be monitoring it. And right now, visibility is okay, but it will likely worsen in the overnight hours closer to sunrise. Temperatures in the 60s right now falling into the 50s for the overnight lows. Notice here the winds zero to three miles per hour that coupled with the decreasing clouds also that we've had some of that rain that's all just a recipe for fog so looking at future cast here for the visibility notice how it is favoring our southern our eastern communities right where we saw majority of the rain for today. So here we are at 730. Some of these less than a mile or even less than a quarter of a mile of visibility. And so you definitely want to be aware of that out the door tomorrow morning. Low pressure is pulling away, but that's going to keep a really small chance for a stray shower or downpour tomorrow. It's an incredibly small chance, five, 10% chance. Overnight, we'll have the fog, Mostly clear conditions. Here we are at 1:30 in the afternoon. Right there, you got to look really close. Put your readers on. Then you can see a couple of these small little showers that pop up. It doesn't look like many of us will see them. There is still that five, 10 percent chance. So don't be surprised if you do feel a couple of raindrops. After that, we are getting seriously dry. We're going back to the dry and warm pattern for several days. Tonight, lows falling into the 50s here. A little bit cooler than the last few nights as well. Those light winds. Tomorrow, as we wake up, we have the fog potential. Then we're going to have a mixture of sun and clouds. That stray shower is a possibility. Sunset is 717. Fun fact, today was actually something known as the equinox, which is kind of like the equinox, but not. So fall officially began earlier this week on Monday. That's when we had actually 12 hours and nine minutes of daylight. But for our latitude, where you get the closest to equal amounts of day and night actually happened a few days after the autumnal equinox. That's today, the equilux, 12 hours, zero minutes, 30 seconds of daylight we got today. So officially starting tomorrow, we're going to have more nighttime than daytime. We lose another two minutes and 45 seconds of daylight for tomorrow. As I mentioned, we're going to be seeing dry conditions. Look at that bar here, that line graph, I should say. It is looking incredibly dry. And so we have time now to focus on some action that's happening out in the Atlantic. Two different systems, one name storm, one that's not, but will likely get a name here soon. Now, the way that these two interact is pretty complicated and not even 100% certain at this point. You see these two lows just spinning next to each other, tropical systems, tropical storms at this point. It will be monitoring them over the next few days and how they interact with each other will certainly have implications for how they impact the United States. At this point, it looks like there could be some heavy rainfall down in the southeastern portions of the United States, like in the Carolinas, for example, up to maybe Virginia. Will that that impact us at home? Well, we kind of have to see it how it all plays out. But at this point, it looks like it's going to stay well to the south of us, and we are going to be seeing so many dry days. So starting with your TGIF on Friday, mid 70s for your highs, an isolated shower as we discussed. Then we start to bring in high pressure, dry all the way through the rest of the work week. And in the meantime, we're also seeing above average temperatures. So that average high up in the banner, 72. We're gonna be five, 10 degrees warmer, even mid 80s possible farther inland as we get into this weekend.